Hello everybody, we are from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Gummo, this is Christopher Draves, hey, and this is Matt White. Yeah. How's it going? I'm proud nice. of you. We did it! He did it! Uh, yeah, still thinking about uh, the tragic uh, events of this week. Yeah, we'll be yeah. thinking about this one for a while. You two especially, because you guys are... Not uh, too far. Yeah. Yeah. In the same city and town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we're all here in Nashville strong. Um, you can uh, you could do uh, your uh, you could donate to the uh, Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee to help out all the victims of this uh, horrific tornado that wiped out, I believe they said somewhere around anywhere between 53 and 80 something miles. Yeah, yeah, it, it was bad, real bad. Yeah. The wind gust did 83 miles of damage, the tornado did 53, yeah. if I remember reading correctly. So this is the, the same group that we put in our uh, links beforehand. And we also want to thank them for acknowledging us. Yeah, because we didn't ask for it, we're just doing our just thank you. They're, again, there was it the Predators organization is part of our lives in Milwaukee for what is it? How many years? The last twenty. Yeah, roughly. Um, also, we want to add in. You can also go to the NashvillePredators dot com slash Nashville Strong um, and donate there as well. Uh, also, we have. Uh, what is it? The the Nashville locker room. That's the uh, to anybody in the Admirals organization or the Everblades organization. That is the team shop for the Nashville Predators. In their new lineup, they have a tab on their website that you can find where their new clothing items are. They also have Nashville Strong uh, clothing, uh, including a twenty dollar uh, white T shirt and a forty dollar black T shirt with the Nashville Strong emblem. And I believe the proceeds of that. Uh, the majority of the proceeds uh, will go to You the, said a 40 hour black t shirt. It's a black hoodie. Black hoodie, excuse me. Sorry. I know what you meant. Yep. And uh, speaking of, our admirals are uh, kicking off something too. And it might be, we may have to change the timing on it because there's only going to be like 14 hours at a time of this recording. Yeah. Yeah. So around uh, 13 to 12 hours. Yeah. Um, left in the in the auction, but you can get a Sisson signed bobblehead, Pekka Rene signed bobblehead, Roman Yossi signed bobblehead, Ryan Ellis bobblehead, UC Saros bobblehead, not signed, Pekka Rene signed replica jersey, a Pekka Rene signed t-shirt, Yossi signed t-shirt, um, Sisson signed pennant, a Nashville Predators jersey signed by the 2019-20, or 2018-2019 team, a Jared Tenorti game one Admirals jersey, Yakov Trenin game prepared jersey, uh, Forsberg signed puck, Ham Hughes signed puck, uh, Craig Smith signed puck, UC Saros signed puck, and a Dan. Uh, well, did I, I said Ham Hughes, right? Yes, you did. Okay, yeah. so we got Austin Watson signed puck as well. Um, we will leave a link down in our description. Um, also, the Admirals will be donating the proceeds of their 50 50 raffle um, on the games of March 13th and 14th. Both against the Min uh, Manitoba Moose. <laughs> you almost slipped up and called them the Minis IHL Moose. I was going to call them the Minnesota Moose. That it's old good. IHL days. But um, no, it's good to see that the proceeds of the, uh, like, and uh, Florida's doing, uh, the Florida Everblades are doing, uh, have done something of their own, if I understand correctly. Yes, along with the Blackhawks, Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, NHL themselves. The NHL themselves. And the Craig Leopold and his wife and the Minnesota Wild. Like, can't you just say the I, I know, I know, but either way, it's still appreciated. Yes, we appreciate anything that you're willing to give. Um, I do believe that um, uh, a couple of our friends down in Lockford went to the uh, Predators site and donated today, so thank mm -hmm. them very much. And uh, thank you to anyone of our, our fan base that donates. Um, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, but moving forward... I don't know how we could segue into this after just talking about something seriously bad. Well, like this is a bright side because it also is a contribution to our community too, and that's talking about our friends at Wausau. Yeah. Yes, uh, Wausau, Wisconsin Sports nope. Association. Nope. Or Wisconsin Adaptive Sports Association. See, now you screwed it up. <laughs> uh, 
It's all good. Um, they can read. So what can you do? What can what what can you uh, what do they do over there, Wasa? Well, they uh, do a variety of uh, adaptive sports for uh, children, adults, and veterans alike. Uh, several of them are sponsored by uh, local teams here in the Milwaukee community. The Admirals themselves are the sled hockey sponsor. The Milwaukee Bucks sponsor the wheelchair basketball team. And the... Uh, you say Marquette, how Marquette sponsored lacrosse, yep. I think you said. Marquette, Correct. Yep, Marquette lacrosse sponsors their uh, wheelchair lacrosse as well. And that's not limited to... They have wheelchair tennis, wheelchair bowling. They uh, do goalball and quad rugby as well. And a lot of that comes from grants and sponsorship, but it also comes from donors from guys like us to viewers like you out there. Um, the best way to reach them is through their website at WASA.org where they have, I believe, three options to donate where you can donate directly. They have an Amazon Smile where the proceeds of your Amazon purchases online go to uh, their organization. And they have Oscar Mike t-shirts in which that is a, you know, best win for both organizations like Oscar Mike and Wausau. Um, Oscar Mike is a, uh, is a organization that does work helping veterans, wounded veterans, get back into competitive sports. Um, and so you're doing a double service there. So it's a, it's technically a three for one if you yeah. buy because you get a shirt. And their shirts are pretty cool from what I've seen. Good quality, too. Good yeah. Quality um, they actually sell Under Armour shirts mm -hmm. with their logo on them. Nice. So um, there's stuff like that. Um, so there's a lot you can do. Um, just check out uh, uh, WASA.org. Um, but speaking of goodwill and, uh, and stuff like that, we have uh, people who are goodwill towards us. Yeah. And that's uh, Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um you could get outfitted if you're a player, head to helmet to skates, and everything in between. If you're a fan, hats to jerseys, and shirts, and hoodies, and referee gear. However, you can't find a competent ref in this hemisphere. <laughs> can you get these lovely uh, Winter Classic jerseys there? No, but you can get a jersey similar to this one. It is a white one, however, but you can get something similar to this. And you can get your personalized, along with Admiral's jerseys, as I understand. Correct, and you can get them personalized. Mm -hmm. You could also call them uh, 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 on, their, on their phone. Yeah, where, where can we call them? I, oh, wait, I know this. 414-800-7585, <laughs> and uh, Chris knows the website. Yeah, uh, you can visit them at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Yep. And now, what's going on there? Uh, they've got something coming up in a month. Yes, they have the uh, CCM demo. Uh, it's where you could uh, use, it's a demonstration, or you could check out some of the CCM gear, and it, however, if you break it, you buy it. <laughs> All their new line equipment that they're de basically debuting and just showing off what they've got for easily, like, because it's the off-season for a lot of uh, current uh, school league teams, I guess. Yes. Like more, uh, not junior, but uh, anything like K-12, I'm guessing. High school. High school, yeah. Um, so there's a lot of that going on. So it's about to be a uh, slow season for Hockey Locker. But hey, we like shouting them out. Yeah, you, and, could, you could go and get all your off-season gear. You, if, if you have the need to feel hockey, you could just go there, buy some merchandise, and go across the street. And hey, you can get you your skate You can also get your blade sharpened yeah. as well. Yeah, I mean, got to keep those things sharpened over the off-season. Yeah, even if you're a figure skater or a speed skater. Yeah. I don't know so much about speed skating. I well, gotta ask him about that. Hey, if I there was have... a speed skater in hockey, that would be the best thing ever. <laughs> like no puck icing ever. <laughs> Why are we talking about Rocco Grimaldi? <laughs> <laughs> he says what well, he wears his sure jersey. He's currently wearing. Yes. Um, yeah. So as we talk about Rocco Grimaldi, whoops. Oop, oop, oop. Where is it? Where there is it? it? Is. There oh. it is. <gasps> Yeah. It's a Nashville logo and a terrible logo. Uh, you know what that means? It's Dallas, yeah, the everybody. Dallas Stars taking on the Nashville yeah. Predators. All right, so today shots were even. Yeah, Pretty close, yeah. yeah. Only one off. Face-offs, two off. Mm -hmm. Power play, Dallas. 0 for 4. This Nashville, is 2 for 4. This is unusual, Dan. They actually did something on the power play. Yeah. Wait. Huh? What, what happened to the uh, Flip your hat down and then look again. 
Because I, I, my, my eyes breathe. don't work. Now try. Okay, my eyes aren't broken. So it is 2 4. Eight. Yeah, eight penalty minutes aside. Uh, hits were uh, 20 to 18 Nashville. Uh, blocks were 18 to 7 Ooh. Nashville. So there was definitely a Some good defense being played. This was a nice answer to the Winter Classic game, I think. Yeah. Because they got completely rocked by all these hits in that game. And this is a nice little, you know, rematch and an answer back to that. Um, also, giveaways two off. Nashville had six. Dallas had four. Not many turnovers. So, there's that to be said. Uh, Corey Perry still, uh, mm, mm. I can't say it on camera. <laughs> not not desired. Um, beyond that, whoa. Whoa. Did you do the goals here? No, I haven't even started the stats. Um <laughs> On a, on a clap note, first off, clap for Tonority who went after Corey Perry. Yes. You know what? So he wasn't even on the roster when this happened. No. He was in Milwaukee. Yep. Yeah. And it's the reason he got his chance. No, it's the reason he was captain in Milwaukee. That is too. But no, like the reason he got his chance in the NHL was because of the Ellis thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it, he earned his spot. To stay. They could have mm-hmm. sent him back. They didn't. Yep. With him or uh, <laughs> Colin Blackwell before the deadline. Correct. But no, like, the thing with Jared Tenorti is, like, that's, the, like, I one of the reasons why I mentioned why he got his C in Milwaukee is because he does, like, he, he earned that C because of why, what we saw tonight. He, he stood up example. to guys. He leads by example. <laughs> yes. Well. He sticks up for his team, right? Like, this isn't just Jared going out saying, like, I'm trying to make a name for myself by standing up to one of the, you know, the oh, rough really? and tough, well, the biggest rough and toughs of the NHL. No, he's there to stand up for it because he knows what happened in that game because it's the reason that he was even there. Yeah. Good on him for it because Corey Perry will make you black and blue if you don't. Yeah, agreed. He's a good player. Or was. Now it's just a bruiser. Um, so scoring, oh. Chris, you want to take the first one? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Uh, in the first period, uh, Philip Forsberg scored his 19th of the year with an assist from Roman Yossi, his 47th, and Kyle Turris, his 21st. That was at 1907 in the first, and that was on the power play. Also, Yossi just uh, set a benchmark for defensemen and points for the nice. National Predators. Yeah, he, he, set his own, he beat his own record. Yeah, he nice. beat his own record. Um, you want to take a second? Sure. Second, uh, only one goal once again. Uh, it'll be the last goal of the whole game with uh, Matt Duchesne making his 13th, uh, assisted by Kelly Yonkroak with uh, his 19th, and Victor Arvidsson with his 11th, also on the power play. Both goals, both of the only goals on the power play. Yeah, Duchesne's goal is at the 13:44 mark of the second. Which is, oh. in- oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Go Which ahead. is incredible because, like, this season we've been kind of skewed on the on the power play. Yeah. We were playing against a power play heavy team. Yeah. The, like and uh, like speaking of people that were standing on their heads in the recent weeks, Jose Saros gets another golf clap for me. It is a, and another shout out. Yeah. It's a it's good his game. Third this year. See, yeah. this is why I think Saros earned a uh, um, starting nod. Yeah. All right. Um, in that for uh, the. Dallas Stars is actually a buddy of mine, Anton Kudobin. Uh, 30 saves on 20, 32 shots with a .938, which is not bad. No. Um, not he a still bit. had a solid night. Um, Nashville <laughs> just got their power play goals. Um, UC Staros stopped 33 of 33 with a, a 1.000 save percentage. Nice work, Jose. Very um, nice. Also, good job with the, the team. When, when the puck was in there, they crowded him. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, also, there's a difference. When the puck, the puck is near also. him, crowd him. Yes. When the puck is out and about, leave him alone. Yeah. You bust out, you bust out screens, but you bust <laughs> opposing screens, but leave him alone. Yeah. You trust him. Yeah. And they did. And there was one point um, in the game where uh, I think it was uh, one of the stars players was scre- screening. Uh, Saros and Saros just kind of slid to the side and gloved it down, mm-hmm. and he just turned around and went, "Oh, you're still here." <laughs> he kind of <laughs> just turned around and gave him a good tap on the on the pads. Is like, wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, referees were 
Eric uh, Furlat and Steve Corzarni. Cozari. Cozari. Um, linesmen were Derek Nansen and Brian Pansich. Pansich. Head coach for Dallas is Rick Bolas. Bolas. Bonus. Bolas. Bonus. Bonus. You need more Niss in your list. <laughs> yeah, it's bonus. <laughs> you got a bonus there, Chris. Yeah, B O W N E S S. Rick Bonus. This week on Sesame Street. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then obviously the coach for the Predators is who, Dan? Uh, Carl Taylor. I mean, John Hines. <laughs> Soon, Dan. Soon. Who are the scratches for Dallas in Nashville? Uh, just scratches for Dallas were Justin Dowling, Tyler Fadoon, and Roman Pollock. Uh, scratches for Nashville was injured Dan Hamhuse. Um, I don't know the details of that. Yeah. Um, Yannick Weber, um, Colin Blackwell, I believe that was just rest, and Austin Watson. Up next... I would be Saturday against the uh, Dallas Stars again. We're going, in, we're going into a bizarre universe where we have to play in Dallas for a hockey game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. We, we, we just did our preview. Oh. We did, yeah, yeah we did. No, <laughs> watch last uh, that's it. video and watch this one, and that's your preview. Actually, just watch this one because we did do one in our last preview. Oh, yeah. Video. That's true. Because remember, we were on the road. Well, should we at least tell them their top five before we end it? Could. Why not, right? Exactly. Seeing how we we're didn't here. do a preview. Yeah, we're here. All we got to do is just do the top five, and then you talk about the goalies. Uh, we're done. Uh, we don't got to go into the team by record player or by after team. the game next. Look at the top five players in the league. <laughs> we gotta go by team, dang it. We don't got time to talk about the rest of the league. No. No. Uh, Franchise? There you go. Oop, I almost clicked on Detroit. Less said, less said about Detroit, but more uh, likely go. for the better. All right, your top five point getters. Who wants it? Sure, I'll take them. Uh, top five, starting with uh, Tyler Seguin with uh, 67 games played, 17 goals, 33 assists, and 50 points. And uh, uh, narrowing out with a zero and a plus minus. Next up is Jamie Benn with 67 games played, 19 goals, 20 assists, 39 points, and a negative two. Alexander Radulov? Yep. yep, former Admiral. Former Admiral, there you go. 60 games played, 15 goals, 19 assists, 34 points, and a plus 8. And lastly, Miro Heiskanen. Heiskanen with uh, 66 games played, 8 goals, 25 assists, 33 points, and a plus 16. You forgot what. Uh, lastly, uh, Rupe Heinz, or Hintz. With, uh, there, he got the hint. <laughs> <laughs> 58 games played, 18 goals, 14 assists, 32 points, and a plus 4. All right, Dan, you get the goalies. Oh, boy. Your favorite. Well, I know who their goalies are. And yeah. that'd be Ben Bishop and Anton Hudobin. I got love for uh, Ben Bishop. I remember Bennington, though. Ben Bishop, he was really good with Tampa Bay. Yes, he was. All right, so we got Ben Bishop with 42 games played, uh, 41 starts, 12, 21 wins, 14 losses, 4 overtime losses. With a .921 save percentage and a 2.49 goals against average with two shutouts and an assist and two assists. Then we got Anton Hudobin, who's been kind of a thorn in the prior side over over the last couple, um, including tonight. Um, uh, he has 30 games played, 26 games started, so he had to come in relief of Bishop quite a bit actually. Um, he has 16 wins, eight. Losses and four overtime losses with a three, 0.3, uh, 0.930 and a 2.22 goals against average with three assists. Hmm. So they got five points in net. Well, there you go as far as our uh, preview for the stars. Correct. Stay tuned to our YouTube page. We are going to be doing a uh, editorial video of the AHL jerseys. Yep. We're talking about the home white away jerseys. Yeah. To be to clarify the a home lot. White away. Well, because they keep uh, the mm -hmm. AHL flips them. Yeah, a lot I of know, people don't I know. know. Well, I know people don't. Some people don't know that. Yeah, though. people don't yeah. realize they uh, they switch halfway in the middle of the year. It's weird, but they do it. Well, you got to sell jerseys some way. 
Yeah. Well, here's an idea. Create a third jersey. Ooh, some, some, team, some teams do have a third jersey, um, and they do use them. Um, but just before we bounce out of here, don't forget our friends over at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, they'll outfit you from head to toe with hockey gear. Get those good old skates sharpened, too, all by hand. Yep. Yeah, they do good work. Good customer service, too, by the way. Yep. Tell them from Milwaukee National Center. Exactly. All righty. See you all later. Peace. Take it easy, buddies.